All right. Hello, everyone. This is going to be a multi-part video demonstration of how to integrate a GUI builder into a high-level language in which you'd rather program so that you can have sort of an alternative for designing GUIs instead of having to write all of the GUI code by hand in some high-level language. So this is a different approach compared to how most high-level language programmers would usually write their GUIs, <coughs> but I find it to be a fairly effective style given the uh, ease with which you can create GUIs using a proper, fairly sophisticated GUI builder. Now, I'm going to be doing this using Scheme and Motif, and the GUI builder I'll be using is BX Pro 6.2 on a Slackware 64-bit system running version 13.1, and the environment you'll be seeing here is the Motif window manager, so about as plain as you can get. <coughs> And the goal will be to end up with a very simple text editor that has a status message, a regular text box so you can edit text, the ability to open and save files, and then the ability to cut, copy, and paste text to and from the clipboard. Um, this will be done first by designing the GUI inside of a GUI builder, and then we will link in all of the functionality using Scheme. So our goal is to write as little to, or to no um, C code as possible um, while still making our lives fairly easy to design the GUI so that we can use our high-level language to do all of our logic and our programming and we can use a GUI builder to do all of our GUI design. So to start with, let's build our simple GUI. So that'll be the first part of this series. So let's go ahead and start up BX Pro. And here you'll notice I have my standard GUI tree here and my resource editor on the left. So let's start by creating a top level window here and let's give it a bit more size here so this will be our text editor not like so <coughs> and I'll want to give this decent name so we're gonna change the title to something reasonable instead of top level shell Let's call it Scheme Motif GUI Demo. Okay, so now this forms the top level main window of our program. And in Motif, main window is a special widget designed to support <coughs> the main application window. And it has special hooks for defining the menu, the main work area, as well as a status area and it also provides the ability to add a command line to the window but we're not going to be taking advantage of that feature right now so we're going to start by creating a the elements that we want inside of the system so firstly we're going to run want a menu bar and then we're going to want a scrolled text widget to work as our main window area. And then I'm just going to use a simple label as my status area. And so let's hook these all in to the main window system. So let's give our uh, you know our instance is a better name, so main menu bar. <coughs> and then say edit window or edit area 
and then status bar here. And now inside of our main min window, we want to select our work window as being the edit area. And we want our status or message area to be the status bar. And then we want our main menu bar to be the menu bar. So now we set all these up. And I'm just going to set all of these to their natural size. And now you notice we have the status bar down here, our menu bar at the top, and an edit area in which we can work. So I'm going to go ahead and save this into file called UIL.UE, but actually I think I'd prefer to give it GUI, the UIL. <laughs> okay, so now we're all set up with a basic set. <clears throat> so let's start by getting the status bar working the way we want it. So the first thing that I'd like to change is I don't like the status bar label. So let's start by changing what it'll actually initially have as its content. Let's just do something simple like that. And now the alignment is off. So let's align it along the left hand side. And so now we have our status message here. And our text area looks pretty good for the moment, so we'll leave that but our main menu bar needs some menu items added to it. So let's add some pull down menus. One for the file, one for the edit menu, and one for the help menu. So let's call this our file menu button. be our edit menu button and our help menu button like so and then we'll call this our file pull down menu here Edit uh, pull down menu and I'll help pull down menu. And we'll fill in these push buttons later on, but let's actually get some proper labeling on these. So we want this to be file. Edit. And help. Okay. And now we also want to set a mnemonic for each of these. So that they can be accessed using the standard keys using the alt menu. And our help menu is special, so let's actually set that as our help widget or our help window. So let's find the callback for that, for the resource. Uh, if I go through here, if I can find it. There it is, menu help widget. So let's select that as our help widget. 
Now, and you'll notice now that our help menu shows up on the right hand side following the standard motif conventions or the standard uh, CUA conventions. So now we have these windows and each menu contains a push button in it. But these push buttons aren't going to be much use unless they do a little bit more. So in our edit menu, we can have a cut option here, but we actually want a few more. So let's add in another button for copy. Let's put a separator in there and then put a button for paste. And then in our file menu, we want to do open, save, and then let's have an exit button to close the application. Let's see what we have here. And so now, let's name these. That will be our exit button here. And let's give them some strings and a mnemonic. So let's give this one a file. S is its mnemonic. And there we'll have open. So open file, save file, and exit the application. And let's adjust our cut button just have cut in it. And for the mnemonic, I'm going to use U. This should be the copy button. And C will be the mnemonic there. And let's have our paste button. And we'll do P for paste. So now you can see we have a cut, copy, and paste. And in our help menu, we have an about button. So let's change that to about. Let's use A as the mnemonic. So now that gives us our application with a menu, three menu items, cut, copy, and paste, open and save, and about. So we want to actually make this about button do something. Later on we will hook in each of these into callbacks, but for the moment let's make about pop up a dialog that gives us some information about the application. So to do that, we're going to take the main menu window and we're going to add a dialog as a sub option there. Specifically, we're going to be using a message box and we're going to tell it to create a dialog shell underneath it. And there we have 